Hey, happy Easter, everyone. In the Western Christian Church, we celebrate today as Resurrection Sunday. It's the day our Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead after three days. I want to make a special announcement today. One, I just want to stress, happy Easter. This is a day about power. It's about redemption. It's about renewal. It's about new life. It's a new opportunity, a start over, all that good stuff. It's also Black Woman Heal Day. My sister, licensed minister, social worker, author, um, diversity coach, um, journalist, radio um, hostess, um, has created this international sensation called Black Woman Heal Day. She has challenged ministers, particularly black ministers, to talk about the need to bring healing to our women in their Easter service Sunday. Uh, in their, sorry, I'm cold, I'm so, my words are kind of getting mixed. In their Easter sermon, I'm gonna slide that in today. Not the first service, the second service. But here's the thing I wanna say. The first messenger of the resurrection of Christ was Mary Magdalene. She was a woman who had demons. She was seen as unclean. And when she went and told the disciples that she'd seen Jesus, they didn't believe her. I think in part because she used to have demons and you just don't trust demon-possessed people. But secondly, because she was a woman. You know, I've been thinking about Black Woman Heal Day in light of Easter. And you know what I realized? We have demonized women enough. Satan has demonized women enough. Now it seems as if the church and society has picked that task up. But Jesus brought healing to her so that he could bring a message to her which would change the world. I propose that we stop demonizing women, that we free women by letting them be who God wants them to be, encouraging them to take care of themselves, giving them places that God has already granted of leadership, and watch them help change the world. The Christian church as we know it wouldn't be what it is. Society wouldn't be what it is were it not for the powerful role of women. So as one pastor, I'm standing up and I'm just saying that in recognition of Black Woman Heal Day, I'm just decreeing that it's time for our women to heal. In light of this, this coming month, um, I'm, I have a series that's called Outrageous Faith. It's about heroic women in scripture. And the next four Sundays are going, to be, are going to be preached by women, powerful women, gifted women, teaching, preaching women, who will show us examples of great faith through examples of great faith leaders in scripture. Happy Black Woman Heal Day. Hashtag Black Woman. Hashtag Black Woman Heal Day. Let's bring hope back to our society by encouraging our women to be healed.